I just got home from work and I feel like I got a hangover. I'm, I'm that tired. So before I start, I need a coffee. Channel, channel. I'm Ludwig Niederbach and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you should consider subscribing. Most of the stuff I do here is photo and film based. I'm not a pro, but I do it for fun. So the other day I was scrolling through Facebook actually and I'm in a bunch of groups where photographers share photos and show their work. And I kind of rolled over this photo here. Uh, it's a pretty simple photo, but it's quite cool. It's a photo of a match, a lighted match, and they just uh, split it and mirrored it in Photoshop. So it shows a lot of symmetry in the photo because both sides look exactly the same. And me, the way I am, I like seeing stuff that other people have done and I try to recreate it and kind of not copy paste, but change a little bit but take the same concept I'm gonna see if I can recreate or in some way make that type of photo in my own way with my own style it's so hot I'm gonna take a look in my prop box see bubble wrap balloons from a long time ago when I took a uh, pop the hole in a balloon and I just go there you, s you can watch it uh, it's a long time ago a bunch of lights like fairy lights a neon light cards oh here it is Tom the Bloss for those who don't know what it is, it's, I don't know, I don't even know what it's called in English. Uh, you light them up and they sp it's sparks. Sparks, that's what it's called. So I think they, these are what I'm gonna use. The only reason for that is that we don't have matches at home, so I'll use the sparks instead. The guy that took these photos, he used a fully black background. I think I'm gonna go with the same concept there, but I think I'm gonna light it up with one of the lights. I think I need the black background for the sparks to like pop out of the picture, but I will see if I can light them up with some colors to make something happen. Maybe either the red or maybe the red is too much of a, maybe it's gonna blend in too much. I'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll try it on my way, like I always do. I'll just figure something out. I just need a way to mount the sparks somehow. Let's just head out and see what, what we can do, what we can find. Let's roll. So I don't want anything to burn up using these, so. I don't think that like the lower part of the image won't be showing. So it's just the top part of these that will be shown. So I don't think that the surface is that important. I got a super, super, super good plan that hopefully will work. <sighs> Look at this. Well, we have a fireplace and I need something to like, hold the spark up I need, to f I need to find something I think this will work don't you I can wrap it around up here and hopefully it will stay up and it's not very flammable this part is like copper or brace and the bottom bottom is the bottom is like concrete maybe some stony thing I don't want to take any risks I need to make sure the sparks are not like flying and lighting anything up on so I want a safe surface okay safe surface let's see if I can find something that's not flame So 
so the whole thing is one shit, but I figured out another way to hold it up. I don't know why I didn't think about it to begin with. I think I can start everything now. I just need to bring out the camera and the light as well. for the shoot and hopefully my tripod can hold it up because it's quite heavy and my tripod is weak as shit. The smell in here is, is terrible right now but I think I'm done and I think I did something good out of it. Hopefully some of the pictures are usable for whatever I want. Let's just edit them, put them in Photoshop, see if I can split them up and then buy them or mirror them. And uh, I'll show the result in two seconds. How will I explain this? It's stupid. I need to clean up her before she gets home. And hopefully I can air out the smell as much as possible. I would get in trouble, but what can I do? do it at home because it was smelling like fireworks in the entire apartment so don't do it try to be safe when you play with fire I had a hard time figure out how I would do it without damaging anything or setting anything on fire I don't think these sparks are that dangerous I think it's quite hard for them to actually set something on fire but safety first don't do stupid th shit so over to the photos they didn't really end up uh, the way I expected them to, but in the end of the day, there are some nice looking photos. So the first one uh, that I tried, I just took one of the photos uh, and I put them in Photoshop, mirrored the image so it looked like the same on both sides. Uh, the first one, kind of like it's a little bit too empty on the sides, but still looks pretty cool. Then I tried it a few more times and with the different photos. I tried to pick the photos that had a lot of sparks in them uh, so they could like fill the frame a lot better. And some of the photos actually look good without mirroring them. So I just kept them as they was. Slapped the pre preset on them and yeah, uh, it was good to go. If I compare with the photos that was that I saw on Facebook. Uh, biggest difference is that there's not a lot of smoke coming out of these, uh, so I didn't get that smoky particle, and it didn't feel right putting like fake smoke in it, because I don't think these uh, sparks give out a lot of smoke, so uh, I don't think it would fit, so I didn't really try it. Overall, it's it was fun doing this, it was like a lot of, uh, trial and errors. Uh, I need to find a way to hold the sparks up. I need to find a way to make it safe. Probably the like toughest shoot I done, but other than that, it was a lot of fun. And I hope you like the way I was filming and trying to talk a little bit more than I've done before. And the plan is to actually do that more often. So if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel and go follow me on Instagram. Uh, I upload all my photos there. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hold right. on.